Ah, what a beautiful morning after ISS. She, uh, she went by here in New York on the coastline of eastern coastline of America and actually there's a lot of fallen trees. So after a day of missing the sun, I we here in the morning and um, welcome to Mandir again. I feel so peaceful, so I'm so soft spoken this morning because you know sometimes we just have to take the peace that we get and we have to enjoy it rather than struggle to make it better you know sometimes don't you see you feel so peaceful well let us do some a prayer for peace om sarve shang mangalang bhuyat sarve shantu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kaschit dukha bhag pavet nandantu sarva bhutani niratan kani santucha Preeti rastu parasparam, Siddhi rastu chakaramanam, Swasti astu raju nityapa, Shampraja vyasta tevastu, Swasti astu dupare nityam, Shanti rastu chatushpare, Shanti rastu no devasya, Purvova swashivam tata, Saravataha shanti rastu no. Somya Bhavanta Bhutani Twam Deva Jagatasrasta Pata Deva Twam Evahi Praja Palaye Devesha Shantim Kuru Jagatpati Yome Adyas Nihate Tasya Shiva Mastu Sadabhove Yashchaman Dvishti Loke Asmin Sopi Bhadrani Pashyantu Hari Om Shanti, 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 Hari Om. Let there be peace to all. Let all none suffer. Let the rulers be in peace and let the people also in peace. Let there be peace to the animals. Who is my friend today, let him be in peace. And who is my friend, enemy, let him be on, be on peace. Well, welcome to the Mandir, the Mandir of Nature. And if you can see that when I pan here, some leaves have been fallen. The wind was so strong that it break down these limbs from the trees. And um, well, nature is nature and we, we know how it operates, but we always prepared for it. Let's do one more. Uh, let's do a prayer. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Eva Bandhanam Ritur Mokshi Maam Ritat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Eva Bandhanam Ritur Mokshi Maam Ritat Oh this prayer of Lord Shiva that Mrityunjaya Mantra it's when we repeat that we should think about the powers of Lord Shiva how he if we bring him into our presence how he will protect us not only us but everyone all of creation but we have to bring him to the presence you know one of the things that um, that I do when I go to Kolkata in our head office. You know, some days are, you feel all right and some days, you know, you're struggling because you want to do so much. And what I will do when I feel like a little, um, a little down, I'll go and speak to the Swamiji's, the realized souls of Bhārt Sevashram Sheng. I'll go and sit in the room of Swami Pranavananda Ji where he would have stayed him and he had the human body before he he gave up the human body and go went back to consciousness and i'll sit in that room and think oh oh god stay god was here i'll go to the altar i'll do the arati and i'll think oh god was sitting there and we will abhishek him meaning wash his feet and put um chandan and perfume and flowers and mala and then we'll surrender through the RT. 
Those are the things we'll do. And not only that, sometimes I'll go to clean the bathroom of the realized souls. And lo and behold, uh, how beautiful that feeling is. And then one of the things that I realized that when you, whatever arrangement you make outside of you, in other words, how well do you keep your room, your house, that is so important, your desk in the office, because what you do outside, it will go inside of you. In this time of COVID, one of our devotees in Bombay, uh, she was saying how oh, Swamiji, um, you know, I'm feeling uh, she's on depression. She's taking um, tablets for that. So I said to her, scan your room. Let me see what it looks like. She's got a nice place there, bedroom and kitchen and living room. And she was so much disorganized. You could see cloths thrown here and there. And I said, you know, you have to, you have to fix your room, especially your bedroom where you sleep. You should have it so clean and tidy. So when you go in there, it's conducive to your sleeping. Also, this cell phone should not be next to you while you're sleeping because this cell phone takes a lot of energy, bad and good energy. And that energy is transmitted to you in the night because you're thinking my phone next to me. So a good idea might be not to sleep with your phone or sleep with anything in that room that will give bad vibrations because after all it's the vibrations look at the sun here and the water that we're looking at right now what vibrations are you getting isn't that lord shiva there the murti isn't that surya narayan and we're looking at mother earth and she's so brilliant and sustaining trees and you hear the birds chirping and all of that we breathe this nice air the water is so beautiful and then space is there. We have to cherish these five elements and when they're in us, we have to sustain them in that beautiful way. This is a simple message this morning, but it's so, it's so profound. The message is what you do outside, how you arrange your, your, your place outside will make a big difference how you will arrange your mind inside of you. So this morning, let us Take that simple message and now let us do some meditation. Would you join me in meditation, please? And if you don't have a mantra, let's do this mantra. Om Sri Guru Shivaya Nama. 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 Concentrate, bring your mind inside of you. Or if you like to look at the Lingam and the Surya Narayan, you do that. Om Sri Guru Shivaya Nama. 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 Om Sri Guru Shivaya Nama Om Sri Guru Shivaya Nama Om Sri Guru Shivaya Nama Adorations to Guru Om Dhyana Mulam Guru Murti Puja Mulam Guru Param Mantra Mulam Guru Rvakyam Moksha Mulam Guru Kripa let us pay adorations to Swami Pranavadanda Ji, Guru, incarnation of Lord Shiva, manifestation of consciousness. Let us do adoration to Him. Let us do adorations to the Buddha, the one who has given up this mundane life, the best of mundane life, and seek that uh, relationship with God through meditation, always meditation. And let us worship the Christ, you know, Christianity and Christ is two different things. If you want to know who is the Christ, you have to meditate on him. Christianity and so Hinduism and so many other religions. The founder is different from the books that are written. If you want to know Swami Panavanan, you meditate on him. If you want to know 
Krishna Bhagwan, you meditate on Krishna Bhagwan. If you want to do Mother Durga, meditate on her after you read about her. Meditate on um, Lord Shiva, Adi Deva. That's the Lord that we we meditate on all the time. So enjoy your day. Simple, right? Message. But sometimes simplicity is the best thing. Let us enjoy the day. Hari Om Shanti Shanti Hari Om.